We're going to start with the Balron drum, which I hope I'm saying correctly. Let's start with some EQ. As you can hear, we've thinned out the lows with a low shelf. Now, in isolation, those big bassy lows can sound really nice, but balancing them so they're not so overpowering in the mix is going to be important going forward with the type of mix and style we're hoping to achieve. To compound the effect of the low shelf, we've also boosted the upper mids and treble frequencies. The effect is that the drum now sounds lighter and more aggressive, and the transients of the initial attack is now more present. And last but not least, we are softening up the top end with a low pass filter. We want a pushed upper mid treble, but we don't want harsh and brittle. It always helps to check against a reference track to ensure you're not pushing too hard. And next up, we are adding some saturation and compression in the virtual mix rack. We have two trimmers on the in and out, just helping us gain stage into our saturators. Let's take a listen. As you can see, we chose the Brit 4KE. Uh, we chose this purely because it's what we used on our mix bus. I did say that I would just default to that. But in this case, you can really hear it adds some nice presence and punch to the initial attack of each hit. The Hollywood saturation has a similar effect. It has a brighter characteristic to its distortion, which is perfect for this type of style. For the compressor, the medium slow attack with a fast release is just shaping the transient so we get a nice snap on each hit. We're not going too crazy here with the amount of compression either, we're just using enough to even out the dynamic while also shaping the attack to be clear in the mix. Let's do some ABs to show the change all together. First we'll show in solo and then in context with the rest of the mix. So overall, it's just a tighter sound with more prominence added to the upper mids and treble, which brings out some detail to the attack of each hit. Also, a quick note on the order of processes. The EQ is before the saturation and compression in this example. The effect of this is you get less low end hitting the saturators and the compressors, which will change the characteristics of how these processes react. It essentially means the processes after the EQ will pay more attention to the higher frequencies in the, in the signal. So the compressor won't overreact to these low frequencies and you won't get as much distortion in the lows from the saturators. Now let's take a listen in the context of the mix. <laughs> 